let us review some of the concepts that we have discussed in this particular session. We can access Tracker by going to Apps and finding the Tracker Capture application. We can then select an organization unit. After we select the organization unit, individuals attached to a particular program may appear. This depends on the organization unit and which programs are assigned to that organization unit. In our demonstration, we used the antenatal care example, which has some users that are already registered in DHIS2. We can filter these users on the initial tracker capture page by using some of the pre-made filters that are already available. This filters individuals based on their status within the health program. We can also download this list of users by using the download button. Lastly, we can add and remove different columns to this page by using the show hide columns button. We can also filter individual users by searching for them using both advanced and simple searches. If we enter in a simple search, DHIS2 will try and match those individuals who meet any of the search criteria that we enter. We can also use the advanced search if we require to filter the list further. We can use the list all button to clear our filter. If we want to register a new individual in Tracker, we'll click on the register button. From here, we can enter in details about that individual. After we've entered the details of that person, we can either choose to save and continue to the person's dashboard, save and add a new person in this ANC program, print the form, or cancel the registration. If we click on Save and Continue, it will take us to the person's dashboard. Here we can manage a variety of different objects associated with that person. We can view if they're enrolled in any other programs within DHIS2, edit their profile, add relationships, send messages, enter data associated with the health program, and add in different features that we can also manage through this person dashboard. From here, we can also delete the person's enrollment. We can also delete the person entirely from the system. If we enter data associated with this person and this program, We can complete different events associated with the program. In this example, we can complete the ANC first visit. This means that this mother has attended the first visit of antenatal care within this program. Other events can either be automatically scheduled or added in manually. We can see that each of these items is associated with a different color, depending on its status. We can pull up the legend in order to identify what these colors are describing. Overall, this allows us to register a new person into DHIS2 and associate them with a particular set of health services. This is known as a program. Within that program, there are different events that define the different health services that they receive. We can track all of the individual services that a person receives and then create summary data for these individuals. There is also an additional complete button in the enrollment section. This is different than the complete button in data entry. When we complete in data entry, this means we are completing a single event. When we complete the program, this means the person no longer needs to attend this antenatal care program as they have received all the necessary services associated 
with the antenatal care program. This ends this session on tracker capture. Please let us know if you have any questions regarding any of the concepts we have demonstrated. In the next session, we will show you how you can analyze different types of individual data in DHIS2.